Hey guys, so I've been asked to um, write an article for a specific um, SEM magazine. Um, whether it will get into that magazine is another question. So basically what I'm going to try and do is read out the article to you um, because it brings in lots of different things that we're seeing in the workplace right now. And if it could get enough shares, then actually potentially it could then get into some more magazines because I feel it really captures um part of the battle that we all face in regards to educating others about SEND. So basically this is how the article starts. Children are inquisitive. They are building connections every single day, which means they will ask questions or have thoughts about what some of us would see as the most abstract things. Children also do this towards each other. Why does that child talk like that? Why are they making those noises? Why do they have those ear defenders? When we don't educate, we don't understand. Discrimination is often born out of a lack of understanding. Walk around most schools in England and somewhere there will be words such as inclusion, equality, togetherness, kindness. But do we actually practice what we preach? Speaking to children about their differences is something that should be natural to us all. If schools and classrooms want to be inclusive, then this needs to involve inclusive conversations. Our brains do work in different ways, and this is highlighted in children who have a diagnosis. When we get the information on why something works in the way it does, we normally understand it better. The way this information is delivered will make a difference in our level of understanding, but we can grasp the basics. Children in special schools want others to know about difference. These children do not go to these schools for their whole lives, and they will integrate back into society. They are scared of what society might think of them. Society is also scared of them too because they don't understand. Words like autism, ADHD, global delay are words and terms that they may hear but are never given an explanation. This does not mean for one second we are putting people in front of their peers and singling out their labels. But what it does mean is we should put awareness of our differences onto the school curriculum. Within this curriculum, you would focus on the positive aspects of our difference, the ability to be proud of who you are and the power of individuality. The people who have made the biggest impact on our everyday lives are those who are not afraid to do something different. If it starts in school, it will filter into society. Words and terms used to describe someone who has a learning difficulty will change. The greater perspective on their abilities will lead to better job opportunities. Discrimination against people with SEND will decrease. It is up to education to educate. Not to be scared, not to treat all children as if they are the same because they are not, but promoting children to be guardians of their own futures and to unlock the potential in their own individualised minds. Inclusion is not just simply about treating everybody the same. It's about empowering those who don't always feel the same. Let's talk about being different. Please share this if you agree.